Hey guys, this is Hell Hades. This is a Raid Shadow Legends video. Guys, we know the next patch is around the corner. We've spoken about some of the buffs for a few champions coming next week. We've now got one of the juiciest drops of info, kinda, that we've had for a while. So, back in the day, there was a battle pass. There was a battle pass in this game. Yeah? Only ever one. And they said it was a, it was a failure. It, it wasn't successful. They didn't get the type of uh, retention of players. Players played less when they had the battle pass. And I'm kind of like, really? It was one of the best things they ever dropped in the game, in my opinion, in terms of value for spend. Um, anyway, they, all, they, they came back and they said they're not going to do a battle pass too. Um, it's just not in their plans. And they didn't lie. We have got, coming in the next patch, a forge pass. So it's going to be wrapped around the forge. I'll go into the details in a minute. Let me share with you, though, just some a feel for what the old battle pass looked like. So uh, even even the uh, like heading of this this website page, whatever it is, says "Good job, Clarium Battle Pass." Yeah, so you kind of had this like free level, free layer where it's like you got shard, energy, energy, clan boss key, some brews, some chickens. I guess it's a bit like. What you get is clan v clan rewards, yeah? Kind of a bit like that type of feeling of rewards. And then if you paid for the battle pass, which I've got another screenshot here around price. It was $24.99 as a standard. That's what I did. You didn't have to pay more than that. Some people though, turbocharged it and just got a load of the levels paid for up front for an extra, what, $15 or whatever. And they, they kind of skipped a whole bunch of the stuff and got some of the, the, the gear nice and early. Now, there was actually champions in this. So you had Rosa Banshee. She was a new champion at the time. There was a Grave Chill for the free users. There were the two bears, which don't really get any playtime now. They were in the mix. Whirling Frost King was the main prize. And it turned out he sucked quite a lot. You got avatars along the way. You got gear sets along the way. Six star speed gear if you bought the gold um, pass. It was awesome. Honestly, it was awesome. Five star chickens. You had legendary tomes towards the end. It was a really great Peace. It was a really great thing in the game. But apparently it didn't work for whatever reason. And this video is not about me speculating uh, if that's the truth. Okay, so that was a sneak peek of what we had before. Let's have a look at what's going on now and try to give you a feel for what the Forge Pass is going to look like. So we've got some exciting news. The new release is just behind the corner. And one of the features will be the Forge Pass. Yes, it's somewhat similar to the Battle Pass, but that is not what it is. It's a Forge Pass. However, right as its name suggests, the Forge Pass will be heavily focused on artifacts, crafting, and other things related. All a bit crafty. It will be available to those who have reached at least level 40. So if you're not level 40, it looks like this is not going to be up for grabs. Bear that in mind. Like Level 40 is not that far into the game. I honestly don't know. I guess maybe the forge doesn't open till level 40 or is it 35? I'm not sure. But yeah, I mean, most games have got a battle pass, right? Most have got a battle pass. And I don't feel like they restrict it. Maybe they do. Maybe they restrict it to lower levels. Not sure. Anyway, they are. It's level 40. Know that right now. The forge pass will be shorter than our previous battle pass was back in the day. So it's going to be four weeks and 50 levels. Total points 500. Um, to complete it it will include daily and weekly challenges so if you look at what we had last time it looked a bit like this you had your kind of uh week weekly challenges you had your daily challenges you could go in there you could pick them out a bit like we have now with the advanced missions yeah it'd be different ones for each day and then you got a reward last time based on completing those different challenges on top of all of the other stuff that you were getting as i said the Battle Pass Season 1 was actually phenomenal. Um, but anyway, let's get back into what they're saying here. We don't have the details of what's, you know, like a bro broken down detail of what's actually going to be going on yet. With daily challenges coming in fours with a particular reset time, which is 9 a.m. UTC. Um, make sure you complete before that timestamp. So yeah, you need to get your daily stuff done. Weekly challenges reset every Monday, I guess around the same time as Arena Reset. Um, there are accessible... Uh, they are accessible for everyone to complete, but only those with the gold pass can claim the rewards. So it looks like for the challenges, it's only going to be people 
with the gold pass to actually get the challenge rewards by the sounds of it, if I'm reading it right. It's important to say that both core and gold pass users will enjoy a variety of rewards. So core users will be anyone that's in the mix. Gold pass will be people that have paid for it. We don't know the price yet. All we know is the previous price, 24.99 is actually pretty de decent value. Um, we have no idea what's going to be this time around. So core and gold pass users will enjoy a variety of rewards such as crafting materials, charms, chaos ore and glyphs. Now I've asked the question and not really had any confirmed response, but it doesn't look like they're throwing champions into this, skins into this, um, you know, that type of stuff. It doesn't feel like shards, all that type of stuff. It doesn't feel like they are in the mix of this. So that's, that's one of the kind of key differences from the original battle pass, if I'm right. Um, another great news is that the Forge Pass will introduce a brand new artifact set. Uh, let me show you what this looks like. I do have a visual kicking around. Here it is. So this artifact set, uh, I think it's going to be pretty cool. It's only going to be available from the Forge Pass. It's not going to be available anywhere else in the game. Which a couple of the other content creators were laughing about. It's like, what if I roll flat stats on on one of the items? Like, is that it? Does that mean I just cannot use the set again? Uh, I, and I don't know the answer again. We don't got any confirmed info about that, but it's a valid point. Like, if, if it's the only time we're going to get it, unless they're doing this on a monthly basis, which they might do if it's successful, they'll do it again, hopefully. Um, but they didn't with Battle Pass One because it was unsuccessful. Uh, anyway, the Instinct Artifact Set will provide your champion with 12% speed and an ignore 15% of enemy defense for a four set piece. So 12% speed and 15% ignore defense. Let's just consider what it's up against here. It's kind of in the, I want to be fast and uh, a damage dealer, yeah? So if you think about a damage dealer, uh, who's got some damage gear on? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Savage set at the moment ignores 25% defense. This set's going to ignore 15% defense, significantly worse. But you'll get 12% speed, which is the equivalent of one two-piece speed set. So you're losing 10% ignore defense for 12% speed. I think it's a decent set. I, I still am not sure if it quite does the job. Like If it's your damage dealer, do you just make sure you get enough damage from the savage gear and the speed you want from the savage gear it's like a, a hybrid piece it's definitely not bad like 15 percent ignore defense is strong you know if we think about cruel gear which is a gear set we all love um that ignores five percent defense and gives you 15 percent attack i mean it's definitely better than this set 12 percent speed plus 15 percent ignore defense on a four i actually think it's decent i think it's decent it's definitely not op though which is good i don't want op stuff coming into the game um, you know, spoiling the game. So, what else does it say here? Is there any more? It just says it's going to come in handy for your nukers, especially the ones who lack speed. So, look, that's it. Pretty much feel like it's coming next week. We haven't got any guaranteed dates, but um, let's hope. Let's hope that they kind of take some, you know, they've taken some learnings from the old battle pass, which was, I think, a success. And, you know, they kind of pull it in a similar vein. Uh, really, I, I can't see that it wouldn't be great in a similar vein. Even if you, you know, you kind of bring it in, factored on crafting and the forge. I mean, <laughs> I don't know about you guys. I've just done plan v clan, which means that I blow my forge materials. <laughs> so looks like I need to get farming some forge materials before next week. Otherwise, I could be in some trouble. Yeah, you know, especially iron ingots. I need to get myself in the arena and get myself some more of this stuff because I've just blown a lot. Anyway, I've been Hell Hades. What do you think about Forge Pass? Comment below. I will see you later.